One of the things that I found particularly fascinating, just to start things off, is I think in the case of both of your works, photography making visible something that is not to the eye in a very, very interesting and compelling way. And I was particularly struck by um, an early comment made by Alejandro um, about the simultaneous um, aestheticizing, um, abstracting, and thinking about um, the image philosophically, but also as a document. And I felt that was a really interesting tension that actually ran from both of your works, this notion of documentary, or the document being something that's just as much about aesthetic um, concerns and philosophical ones as ones that are visual. And it struck me that your works are very interesting for a number of reasons in the use of technologies and the way that many things that are quite fundamental to photography, such as focus and light, and the particular type of ways in which they're manipulated in really complex ways in your pictures and um, open up new ways of understanding the document. Perhaps maybe both of you could just comment a little bit around some of those issues, perhaps, just to start things off and then we can take some questions. Uh, hello. Uh, I, ha I have always uh, been fascinated by the documentary photography. I, I, I don't know another way of Maybe when I, when I was uh, a child, I was very solitary, so the photography was the, the way I could find to, to communicate with the people. So, but, uh, you know, I, I, I can see, separate the, the, the idea of um, journalism and, and art. You know, for me, it's, uh, the, there is the same, you know, uh, journalist is art in, in itself, so... And when I went to, to the Delta, the, and if you go to the Delta, you can feel that it's a very magical place, so... This, te this technique was the, the closest way I found to, to reproduce in images what I feel, what I, the way I, 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 I see the, the Delta. Well, regarding this document, um, the way of photographing, I have to say that... Can you hear a case? Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, yeah. Uh, that, well, first of all, I want to say that I came from a photo well, a technical school. I mean, I'm not really playing in arts, I'm studying arts, so uh, my approach is, as many other photographers, different from that has been to the arts. Uh, and what I'm trying to say with this is uh, when I started this project, I did not think about doing a documentary project. I mean, I knew that I was following some rules of way of photographing that are related to the documentary kind of works in terms of going to place, but coming out, or maybe keeping the same uh, aesthetic way of producing the images. But I, 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 of course, I was aware of the historical, ideological meaning of the, the, the subject, uh, which might be something common in uh, documental projects. But uh, I did not think that I was doing something really documental uh, in terms of uh, uh, attitude in, to, towards that. Um, I mean, uh, the, the fact that I define certain way of photographing, I think, is not different than, than the rest of the work that I did later that uh, wouldn't classify in the documental category. So uh, I don't deny this aspect as they say, the graphic storytelling and so on. But for me, uh, being qualified as documental, not documental, is not the deal. So, uh, I, I, think, really, I think I cannot uh, make a clever comment about what you propose. All what I need or you may propose. Which is fine. I mean, I think that's, that's something that's, uh, um, uh, I think, apparent. I think it's implicit in the work. I think that's, that's, that's for me, what's very interesting is that, uh, you know, we're we be, um, being shown what the camera shows, but, but um, I think there are layers of complexity, but I don't think they, they detract in any way from what is being shown. I think, in fact, there's an enormous enhancement, and I think a really compelling way in which the images, I think, of both of your works actually um, really complicate what we mean by 
by the document. And, and leave it open as a set of questions, I think, which is, I think, always a good thing. Um, on the subject of questions, uh, should we take some now from the floor? Any, any questions from anyone? I mean, it's always sort of nerve-wracking going first with these things. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, there seems like an element um, in the uh, in both of, of, of your work that sort of uh, almost sort of reminds me of a photographer's work, maybe like uh, in terms of work that's very staged. You, know, you can almost imagine some of the images being slightly kind of, you know, sort of Jeff Wall, Gregory Crude, some kind of style images. Uh, some of the buildings they almost look like. Uh, it's interesting that one was a scale model because they almost kind of look a little bit like maybe like a Thomas Demand. Uh, construction or, or James Cassavier or something like that, and so I was just wondering, is that is that sort of is that something that is conscious in the work that the images look very, uh, you know, could potentially be perhaps models uh, or or actors, you know, rather than you know, the real thing. Well, there must be something maybe not really conscious about that, but uh, I guess I I think I understand what you're saying. Uh, I've been uh, working with the uh, scale models since I was a kid. I mean, I, I, I did a lot of plane, train, car scale models when I was at nations. So uh, this kind of way of looking uh, at uh, this, especially constructed world, worlds, in, in terms of it's something that even when you do a small town for the train, uh, I mean, I, I may have the same uh, attitude that. Uh, someone who creates a building. I mean, it's making up something out of nothing. Uh, so, uh, I think maybe we could set kind of uh, relation in between the, the, the this way of perceiving uh, what we do uh, when I was a child at Naples, or when I did later when I was photographing that. Actually, well, uh, just to make a connection, uh, the series that I did later uh, was, well, you can maybe check, check it on the net, but that's not matter. Just to make the connection, is a series of uh, aerial photographs that I used in the tilt and shift technique for creating the scale model effect. And in a way that, even when it's completely, formally, completely different work with the ceremony, uh, I still feel that there are some connections between those body of work. I don't know if that answer. Yeah. Comment. So I, 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 I hope to, to have understand the, the, the question, but I will answer what, what I think. So you, you talk about chef wall and stage photography, didn't you? So uh, maybe like uh, like Esteban, uh, when I started uh, this project, uh, for me, was a way of experimenting. I I always uh, liked the, the the technique of photography. So for me, it was like playing with the camera. And the the difference is that uh, at the beginning I was, as I said, uh, working with landscapes. So when the people, the real people, start to to be in the in the images that makes the document, and I think that it's now relevant what we are talking about. <coughs> but um, I think that in in a, in a few years it won't be relevant the way I, I made the images and because there is real people and it, there is a, you know a way I'm showing how how is the data uh, in 2010. So I think that the document will be uh, will be more important than the way I, I should. And I, I know also I also think that photography is changing, so there will be a lot of works more like this. So. Okay. Um, yeah. Hey, I uh, just had one question uh, regarding uh, uh, the building photos. So was there any? Um, reference material you used or studied before because uh, maybe they were already documented by the time of building. So, I mean, if this was any source of help during the work. Well, 
Sorry, I can't. I, I don't know what. Ah, yeah, there you are. Yeah. <laughs> no, well, uh, as I said, you know, there's almost no uh, documentation. There must be, or I guess that documentation must be somewhere. But the fact of trying to find it, uh, I think, would be so complex and so time consuming work that uh, I wouldn't do it even today in terms of. Uh, it sincerely was. Uh, easier to try to uh, find actually the buildings, which in some cases was very uh, difficult for me, as some of the slaughterhouses houses are far away from the town. Um, even people who live in those, uh, in those towns don't know, know where it is, so just trying to get the, the location was not easy. So, and sincerely, I was not really interested in, in, in making a dialogue or to, taking as references this photograph that for some time exist, and some of them are uh, in this book, referred to this in this uh, article and I mentioned of the Journal of Propaganda Arts. Uh, that was a big reference for me. At that time, there was almost not any st study. Actually, I got with that uh, publication, but coincidence, because there, it was not available in Argentina <coughs> anyway. So uh, it was for me really trying to approach to the subject that has not really written story, trying to this. I, I, I wouldn't say what I can mention kind of a few minutes ago, uh, the, the world anthropologic uh, work in a way. We could say that, I mean, I think it, it, it could be too much for what I did. It was just trying to, uh, in a way, we could say yes, document what, what I was I mean, I was not really actually trying. It. I knew that existed, and I was trying to get the place. Uh, uh, as I said, my uh, education doesn't come from uh, anthropology or documentary or art, so I'm not really. My, it's not my really my first interest in, in, in doing that. I don't deny that the world can be seen in that way, but it's not my main interest. Okay, it's a question by Alejandro. Um, just can you talk a little bit about taking the images back to the people that you photographed and how they responded to them? Uh, how, how have you done that? Yes. Um, okay, it, it, it's a, a very interesting part because, for example, as, as I said, uh, this image, the Paraguayan, the man loaded the trunk. Uh, when I gave him, when I gave him the, the image, he was uh, sailing with a small canoe with a hat, and um, it, it was like a, a very strange moment because uh, it was the first time he saw on an image. So I I, I can't say that uh, it was different. Uh, maybe. It, any image of him would be the same, the same reaction. But he saw me and uh, saw the image and he saw me and he continued saying he didn't say anything. But I am, I am always giving him the, the images. Um, maybe at the beginning it was more difficult because even I didn't didn't know what what would be the the results of uh, experimenting during the night. So. Uh, maybe after having ten or ten, the first ten images, uh, I am now sailing the rivers with the, these prints, with the small prints. But um, it's a strange moment. Uh, it's always a strange moment because they, they are not to, to to be photographed. So uh, I, I still have to sail a lot because uh, the the images that I have taken during the last year, I didn't get. To him, so I have to save a lot of hours to even the, all of them the images. And I would like to say about the, the work of Esteban that uh, that I am from Argentina too. So uh, the first time I I, I saw the, the work uh, of Salomone was for about his work. So I think that for me it's one of the most important part of the work that. Uh, he used photography to to found the the, the architecture of Salomone, 
and this is maybe for me the most important. Obviously, the images are fantastic, are amazing, but uh, that I am from Argentina, so uh, that, that was one of the most important part of your work for me. Congratulations. Thank you.